channel, Josh here, and this is my review for the downloadable game for the PR PlayStation Network and Xbox Live, as well as the computer from uh, PopCap Games called Peggle, and its expansion pack, Peggle Knights. Now, I usually don't review kind of these, actually I do, so I, that's be a downright lie, but I want to make special note and review this, I wanted to, because Peggle is a crap load of fun, and I mean that in the most literal sense, you play it, you have fun, it is one of those casual games that actually does not make me feel insulted to be a gamer. It has some amount of strategy to it, don't get me wrong, there is a good amount of strategy in the later levels, but you can just pick it up and play, in the, even in the demo, there's five levels you can play, definitely give you a good feel for the game, you'll have a lot of fun, and that's really what is great about this game. It's really simple, it's basically just a hybrid between pool and and pinball. Kind of a little difficult to describe, but it's a one-button game. You just turn your little uh, arrow wherever you're going to shoot the ball, shoot it, try and aim it so it'll bounce off things, and you have to hit all of the red pegs on the board, and in between them are all these different blue pegs that'll block you. When you hit them, they disappear, so the board is slowly cleared. Then there's one that will uh, activate your specific character's special power. It's green and purple that'll give you extra points while doing it, and there's a kind of... Uh, uh, bucket going back and forth on the bottom of the level that if you get your ball in there you get an extra ball if you get a certain amount of points in one turn you get an extra ball and it seems incredibly simple and it really is but I had my whole family playing this at Christmas because it is just that much fun now my sister never plays games she loved it I play tons of games and am don't like most downloadable games I enjoyed the heck out of this it was only ten dollars and the main gist of this game is just these different levels. Some of them are in shapes, or different shapes. When one's in the shape of a car, one's in the shape of kind of this beehive that's going around. They're spinning in rings in certain ones. Again, it's incredibly hard to describe because that's really all there is to it. The only real variation you get in this game outside of level variation is that every five stages you unlock a new character, and each of the five prior five stages you've played to unlock this character are uh, specifically themed around them. They have one person who's a, like, kind of a Halloween pumpkin, they have Halloween-themed levels, and he has his own special power when you hit the green balls, and that's the real strategy of this game, because each of their powers varies wildly. Some of them, some of them will just simply give you a b another ball, some of them, or one of them lights up one-fifth of the remaining pegs, so the faster you get that, the better. One of them, a dragon, just cuts, th shoots a fireball with your, one of your pinballs, and eliminates every peg in its path, and it's it's just a lot of fun. I can't say a lot about it. I feel like I'm gushing, but frankly, I really need to gush because I want to get this across. You need to go and buy this game. It's only $9.99. There's probably about 50 to 60 levels, ranging from mm, maybe a minute to 10 minutes each, and there's also probably at least 30 or 40 challenge levels that often include multiple stages, different scoring options, and there is a multiplayer mode, both online and party play, which is different controllers, but you still use the same board. It actually involves a good amount of strategy, considering both of you are using the same board, so you can't plan your moves as well. So you can try and work against the other person. It's rather interesting, and it really does add quite a bit of playtime if you can manage to find someone to play with. And like I said, online, there is plenty of players. It's a very healthy online community, because it's a lot of fun. And getting the expansion, Peggle Knights, it's all themed around each of these different characters. Again, you go through them, and there's only one new character, but... All new stages, all new challenges, and most importantly, all new themes. Much harder than the original one, and it adds a ton more playtime. It's only another $5. So for $15, you could theoretically get two, four days of great, great content. Possibly a really good multiplayer game if you don't have one. And let's face it, if you have the PS3, frankly, there isn't a whole lot of multiplayer games you can play with someone in the same room that are really amazing. And this is one of them you need to buy it. <laughs> Otherwise, I really did want to mention this game's graphics are nice and clean, very colorful, and very bombastic graphics and sound design. Particularly, there's operatic music when you hit the last peg and it goes into slow motion, and there's different point scores that come open up on the bottom of the screen, and you just watch it bounce, you're like, oh, come on, come on, come on, gotta get it! And it's really tense and just a ton of fun. And like I said, I do think this game has a really great sense of humor, at least in the first game. Peggle Knights t kind of tones that down a little in favor of just more gameplay, but that's okay with me. But uh, there is a really great sense of humor, very quirky. Play the demo. It is on Xbox Live and PSN and the computer. I'm sure you could find it. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it's there. So 
play Peggle. Go buy it. It's the best downloadable game I've played. Well, maybe Pixel Junk Monsters gives it a run for its money, but that is my two cents. Go buy Peggle.